All right, guys, so what I'm gonna start doing now is putting in our, what I'm calling critical loads panel. And this is gonna go right below our main panel here. Uh, it's not gonna feed directly out of this. This is gonna feed the inverter to charge the batteries if the inverter can't keep up. And then out of the inverter, we're gonna come back and feed this panel, which is gonna have our, what I'm calling critical loads, like the refrigerator, uh, so the furnace, the pilot, and you know the main functions to the propane furnace and some lighting and basic outlets in the house so that we can still operate in case the grid does go down we'll be pulling off the inverter power and battery and when we do have grid the grid will feed the inverter feed this system if it can't handle it with the solar and everything should work as normal so i'm going to put this right below this panel here and eventually i'm going to pull out the circuits that i want i'm going to splice those in and i'm going to tie them into the panel below and again those are going to be fed from the inverter so let's get working on that. So this breaker here is going to end up being our feed out to the inverter and that's going to go over the inverter and then we're going to send another cable back and then we're going to feed this panel down here. And then these are our circuits that are going to tie into these cables up here and then they're going to land on breakers down here being fed by the inverter. So that's how that's going to work out. Do you see the pole sticking up? Uh, don't fart on my head. Oh, oh God. <laughs> see it right over there? That thing spiking up through the yeah. insulation? That's the paint, that's the other one I gotta stick up. Okay. So it needs to go there, it's gonna come from over there. Okay. So what looks easier? I mean, I could tape on over there and then well, I could, it's probably easier for me to feed this way because that's so tight over there. Yeah. Can you pull, push that up a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. This is propped up right now. A little tight up here, but we're going to get it done. Oh, it's real far in. Do you see the wire? Yeah. Real far in there. Um, can you find the flashlight so I can... Get back there? Yeah, because I can't make that hook with the... Oh, you're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Watch the nails on the roof. I need, like, one of those grabbers to pick up garbage. Oh. Or maybe, like, my dog. There I you got go. It. I got it. I did. Hang on, let me feed it. Can you poke the other one up a little bit? Hang on. <sighs> Would this one be easier? Oh, yeah, you're good. Okay. I gotta get over there, so give me a second. I don't wanna fall through the roof here. Is that coming toward you? Give me a second. Do you have enough length? <clears throat> yeah. That's about all I can give you. Yeah, you're good. You got your tape on you? Back it up a little bit. They're in the rafter on me. Okay, I got it. Don't move it. I got it. 
All right, okay, hang on. I'm gonna go get some of that yarn so we can put a string on it. Putting it like the string around and grouping it so it doesn't come out. Okay. Okay, I'm just in the fiberglass like to slide out. So make sure you tape the shit out of that. Fiberglass. The fiberglass, okay. like so. There's no like hard edges. Make a point. Okay. Taper it. You got it. You got it, boss. I'm on it. Make sure this thing doesn't come undone. Okay, you're good. You good? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Almost fell through, but yeah. <laughs> Are you feeding it? Hold on. I'm gonna get back there. Yeah, you gotta pull, babe. You look like you're stuck on the insulation. You gotta push. Oh, I can't get back there. There it is. Okay. I'm like, here is somewhere I can't even get to. Alright, how much do I have up there? Uh, maybe like a couple inches. Now you're tight. I get all the dirty jobs because I'm small and I can fit in all these different places. All right guys, so we're up on the roof now. I just got this solar deck box in and this is designed for solar. I drilled my hole through the bottom. I put my liquid tight connector here and we're gonna drill a hole through the roof and then we're gonna end up running our liquid tight through the roof, down through the attic space and into where the inverter is. So that's gonna feed all these strings down. So let's get that going. And I'm doing it here in line with this flu because uh, I know I'm not gonna I might add more solar up to this point and I know I'm not gonna do anything here so I know I have an open cavity in the roof rafters so good place in it and then we're also gonna run some conduit over to the front side of the roof so this is a good midpoint for everything All right, so we got our hole in. We got this ready to go under our shingles where it's gonna flash in nice. And that's how it's ultimately gonna look right there. Uh, we're gonna put some sealant under it. We're gonna screw that down. And that's how the connection is. Next step is we're gonna speed up our liquid tight tubing so that I can make the connection to the bottom of the box. Now we can set this in place and start stringing our wires through, so. How much slack is that a pretty direct run? Yep. Completely direct and you don't got much slack. Okay. Like Put my connector on. Mounting it to the box. Oh you got go. Okay, so hang on. You're right under this hole? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take this off the box. I'm gonna need you to pull this tube back. Once I have the box in place, I need you to push it up because I can't get it under the shingle with the thing in place. Okay. So pull it back down. All right. All right, push it into that hole. All right, good. All right, hang on, I forgot one step. Let me undo it. Pull it back down. Yeah. I gotta put some sealant under it. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want the sealant. That's all I got. All right, do that again. Uh, feed the slack if you have any down, back down to the electrical panel. Water it until we get the wire. 
get some MC4 connectors on because out of my junction box I made a little whip. So the string is going to plug into there. I need to tie in our long leg on the other side. Let's get that done. back on that we should be energized at the other end all right guys so we have both strings in we have our east side or west side and before any of the pros out there start commenting the liquid tight and stuff is going to be temporary until i have everything set up this is just kind of get us going uh, so we can play with the system make sure everything works and then i'll hard pipe it because i think we're going to put more solar on the other side the south side of the, the building but if you guys are interested in this type of stuff, kind of going semi off grid and just protecting against power outages, uh, who knows, maybe worse, grid down situations. That's kind of what we're preparing for. So like, subscribe, and check out our playlist with the rest of these solar videos. We'll see you guys in the next one.